Welcome back. Social media is under national spotlight right now and locally. Attorney General Josh Call is part of the team investigating Instagram's impact on young people, including mental health. I took a look at how much this app is impacting the minds of young adults. How many times do you go on Instagram a day? I probably check Instagram about 25 times a day. Marika Marsh is a sophomore at UW-Milwaukee. She tells me while she's scrolling, she feels a bit of anxiety. Especially with girls today because with TikTok and Snapchat, everyone looks so like perfect all the time and it makes you feel insecure. Marsh even took a break from social media, deleting Instagram. It was impacting like my work life and my social life just with constant comparing. Alejandra Gonzalez and her friends tell 12 News they are skeptical about what they see on social. Do you think there's like a false reality to Instagram? Because I feel like people try to make their life seem fun and like they post the best parts of their day. I don't like to get involved in all that stuff because yeah. I know that most people just fake their lives. In reality, their days might just be as boring as ours, but I think it's just more like an image they're trying to portray for themselves. Psychiatrist Dr. Elizabeth Hamlin says social media is a hand-picked version of reality. Social media provides a really distorted um, worldview of people's everyday lives. It's often the best experiences and the most exciting experiences. And Dr. Stephen Dykstra, director of Milwaukee County Behavioral Health, says this is not healthy for young adults. Too many kids are doing this instead of traditional genuine relationships. It's impairing their traditional genuine relationships, and that gets dangerous. Social media platforms systematically through their computer algorithms identify young girls who join these platforms and who click on information suggesting that they feel bad about how they look. And they don't flood them with resources helping them feel better. Social media's influence on young adults has reached Wisconsin's Department of Justice. And if we take a close look here, social media is truly all around us. Attorney General Josh Call is now part of a nationwide investigation into Instagram's impact. What is the goal of this investigation? There's been evidence provided to Congress that uh, Facebook knew that Instagram was causing some harms to kids and young adults but it wasn't providing that information to the public. And I am confident that we're gonna get uh, the answers that we need to make a judgment about whether uh, Facebook should face liability for this. There is definitely like a huge image to uphold for like social media platforms and it's very strong in our um, like our generation. Students say the pressure of having an eye-catching feed is demanding. Do you kind of sometimes think that you have to spend time on making sure that the picture is perfect to post? I would say yes, honestly. Uh, a lot of the times I personally don't feel like it, but I do catch myself thinking like, oh, if I edit this to like, you know, like maybe brighten my eyes or like, you know, whiten the teeth, like it'll look a lot nicer. If you or someone you know needs mental health resources, Milwaukee County has a crisis team that answers the phone 24-7. They do at-home visits, and there's even an emergency room for people who need immediate care, no matter the severity of the case. And, of course, we will post more links to health, mental health resources on our website on WISN.com.